pump. So today's the first week of January, somewhere in there. Um, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, all that stuff. You probably won't see this till late January. I'm very, very, very long way behind in my videos. But that's all right. Harvest is finished, the head is packed away. And now we're on to some sheep work. Dad's got the sheep in this morning and we're just about to put them in the yards and draft all the rams off. Let's get to it. Good job. So we got them all drafted out. Got the rams and a few stray lambs drafted out. We got them back into the containment yard. Now Alex and myself are just about to open the laneway gate. Let them go straight back down the laneway, back to their paddock. Look out, the gate's coming that way. This gate too. Got it done. Let's hunt the sheep out now. There they go. Back down the laneway. All in the day's work, mate. All right, we're back at Popper's place now and we are rounding up the next mob of sheep. Or actually, the next, next mob of sheep. Popper's on to the closer lot. Alex and I have come down the back here to start moving these ones closer to the yards. <laughs> So we got our sheep a bit closer um, and then we've come and helped Popper to bring these ones even closer and get them in the yards and then we'll draft the rams out.
those ones drafted off. Now we're back in the ute going to get the mob that Alex and I brought a bit closer. Just thought I'd show you how set up Alex is. She's got her tiny teddies over there. Water bottle, fruit loops, all in her lunchbox. She's loving it. All right, we got the other lot in. I was on the phone when we were doing that, so I didn't film anything, but we did. We fed and had a coffee. Alex is in the pram. We're gonna draft that slot off. We got them all drafted. The rams are out there. And there's only three rams and two woolly lambs. Which means we're missing some. There's some rams that are still in the paddock in an unknown location. Um, so we'll have to go for a drive around and see if we can find them. Hey. Do you want to push somewhere? Yeah. Seeing as though Alex was already in the pram, I thought it'd be a lovely day for a walk. Walk the sheep back, taking her for a walk. Popper's over there in the ute. Living our best life, aren't we? So we just got the ewes back to their paddy and we come for a drive. We all hopped in the ute and came for a drive down the back where the sheep were. And we have located the four missing rams. They are in the paddock. Silly me, didn't look close enough and didn't pick them up when I rounded the sheep up. So we're gonna leave them there and we'll come back on motorbikes or more agile vehicles later on and take them back. But glad that they've been found safe and well. Alright, so the next day we're out at Onan. We're going to bring some more sheep in and get the rams out. So uh, I'm on the motorbike, Dad's in the ute. Let's do it. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And Time to draft the rams out. See how many we've got. Those other ones all drafted up. We've left them in the yards because we're going to bring in some 
Another sheep. Um, so yeah, let's go and get him. All right, so the reason we're doing all of this, the reason we're taking the rams out is we we always aim to have our rams in for only six to eight weeks, something like that, which means in theory, all of your lambs are born within a six or eight week period, meaning they're all the same age. Now, in that time lapse, you will have noticed we spent quite a bit of time chasing those two little lambs around. And why do we have lambs at this time of year, you may ask? Well, it's fairly simple. There was a ram out. But this is where it gets complicated because we don't know where the ram came from. We never saw it. We never took it out. We still don't know how we have lambs but we've got some sets of lambs. Um, yes, it's quite confusing. So this, this really is what we're trying to eliminate by taking our rams out. Um, but this is also a very confusing part of sheep farming. Confusing in one sense, but very simple in another. All right, so, so far we've got eight rams here. There's two out in that paddock that we're gonna get shortly. Um, so that is 10 rams. Uh, we know of two other rams that have died. Um, so that's, what, 12 that are accounted for um, in Dad's farm diary at home. It's written in how many we put out. We didn't remember to look at that this morning. Um, but yes, there needs to be a lot in the back mob <laughs> for them all to be accounted for. <laughs> all right, here is the last lot of ewes and rams that we're taking the rams out of. Um, we're just walking them back to the middle yards draft them off but out here you see this paddock looks quite green uh, that is the paddock of Lucen that we sowed late um, it was very risky doing it the way we did it at the time that we did it but it just happened to come off and um, we've got a really really good stand of Lucen growing out there I almost say it's better than the stand of Lucen at home that we sowed so yeah, we're really happy with the results. Hopefully we get some summer rain this year, which will uh, really make it grow. There we go, got them in the yards. We left the sheep standing in the yards um, because we're gonna go back to the shed for lunch. But we thought we'd come over and see how James is getting on. He's uh, still working away at this having some troubles with um, the clay running out so the soil profile is sand, clay and then it turns to rock you don't want to spread rock on your paddy so having some trouble with that he's just started a new hole here and hopefully we have a bit more luck All right, we've had our lunch. We're back at the middle yards. We're just setting up some gates and, and we'll get into the drafting. Oh, oh, oh. 
Right, so 430 ewes was how many dad counted through the draft then, and uh, seven rams. So that means we have 15 live rams, two, two others that we need to get back in back to the front, so that's 17. Um, plus two that died, 19. So I think there might still be four, three or four rams wandering around in the paddock somewhere. Um, this is such a big property with so many trees, they tend to wander around and just hide under the trees. Um, and it's quite hard to find them all, unfortunately, but we try our best. But anyway, sounds like we might have some searching to do still. Here they go. Back out to the paddock. There we go, just shut the gate. Sheep are in their paddock. Let's go back and load these rams on the trailer. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yep! Perfect! Okay, let's get these rams. There we go. So I apologise for that hectic footage. It would have just been shaken all over the place. But we found the two rams that were out in the paddock out there. Um, and if you didn't gather from the footage, I managed to chase them into the shearing shed. Um, where this is not the best place for them to be hopefully dad will come and we'll be able to put them through that gate there out into that pen let's hope so anyway so dad managed to stand on the board and open this gate we was able to coax them into this yard thankfully all right it's a big day on the farm today because we're about to christen the shearing shed out north. The Coach View Cowboy is going to shear the first sheep in here on the left-handed stand that we've set up. Um, we found 18 very woolly ones. They've probably got 18 months worth of wool on them. Like I was saying yesterday, there's lots of trees and stuff for the sheep to hide in. So unfortunately, they get missed. But anyway, we're shearing them now. about to happen. Here we go. The first sheep in the newly re renovated shed.
Here we go, we got them. I did four, and the Coast View Cowboy did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve? I didn't count them. Twelve. It was a battle, that's for sure. <laughs>